items you're going to need today for our craft is these foam blocks that I got at the Dollar Tree. They come two in a pack, so make sure you pick up two packs. You're also going to need some wooden letters. I had these on hand from a previous craft and already painted them. You're also going to need some paint brushes, a hot glue gun, and some paint. I chose black and white for my colors for today's craft. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is take your paint and go ahead and start painting your blocks. Make sure that you get a good coat on all sides. This process can get kind of messy, so if you do have some latex gloves, go ahead and put those on. But if not, if that's okay, you can still use the paint. It washes off with soap and water. Make sure that you give your block at least three to four good coats. You don't want to see your dice you want to see the paint. Once you're done painting all sides, go ahead and use your blow dryer to speed up the drying time, but make sure that you put it on a cool setting. Once you're done blow drying, go back and look to see if you have any little areas that you need to do touch-ups on. Once you are done with your last minute touch-ups, go ahead and use your blow dryer on the cool setting and finish drying.
Now what I'm going to do is take one of my letters and start painting it. I've already painted all of my letters for this project, but I wanted to go ahead and take one of the extra letters that I had just to show you how I did it. You wanna make sure that you paint the front of your letter and in between. You do not have to paint the back because the back is not gonna be seen. Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna give my block a rustic look or an old look. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit of black paint and very lightly brushing it onto my block. The key here is brushing it on very lightly. You just wanna have little streaks. The next thing I'm gonna do is take the letters that I had already painted previously, and I'm gonna start by adding glue, my hot glue, to the back of each letter, and then gluing it to the front of my block. If you don't have any hot glue, that's okay. You can use Elmer's glue. Any glue at this point will do. Now what you're going to do to finish off our craft is you're going to turn all your blocks over to the opposite side because now what we're going to do is take our remaining letters that we painted and glue them on our block to form our last word. The neat thing about this craft is you don't have to just settle for four blocks. You can use as many as you want to accomplish the craft that you want to accomplish. So maybe as a suggestion, maybe you want to use your last name, or maybe you want to use your children's name where you can put these blocks in their room. That's just an idea. And there you have it. Stay tuned for the very end to see how I decorated my letters in my home. 
They're very versatile. And that's it.